Cinderella. Who? Who would be the villain in Cinderella? Stepsisters? A stepmother? Hey, Lens! You're in a relationship! Enjoy Valentine's Day! Flinderelli! Flinderelli! Come on! Not a flurry! Not a flurry! Now, Jack, what's all the fuss about? Somebody new in the house! Somebody never saw her for! Oh, a new friend! Where is he? In a trap trap! Down the stairs! Oh, dear! This is a big trap. What is going on? Say. Somebody tell me how I got so small. <sighs> yep. Now don't look up her skirt. Don't be afraid. Oh. How interesting. I've never seen a mouse like you before. Mouse? Jack, you better explain things to him. Yes, uh... Huh? Now, now, now! Look a little guy, break your easy! Not a worry, pal. We like you. Flinderelli like you too. She's a nice, very nice, nice. <laughs> Come on now, Jota! Jack. I'm Ventus. Call me Vin. Santa Vin Vin. Need a Santa? Ask that Jack. Vinderella? Oh well. Time to get to my chores. I'll see you in a little while, Vin. Wow. I guess she's got her hands full. Just work, work, work. Step money keep a Flinderelli busy all day. She didn't seem to mind much, though. No, not so Flinderelli. She worked hard. Got a dream, big dream. Dream gonna come true. That sounds like somebody I know. <laughs> Being a Keyblade Master is all I've dreamed about. Hey, maybe you can help me find him. His name's Terra. <laughs> that is the least happy face yeah, no, no, I've no, ever seen terrible. on a mouse. Oh, well. <laughs> can I ask you a question? Shot. No. And out come the blonde jokes. <sighs> so Lens, you're in a relationship with a man now, so you can no longer say how much you want my peace. Shame. <laughs> but seriously, uh, well done, and enjoy Valentine's Day. You deserve it. You lovely, lovely man. God damn you! Leave me alone! That was actually kind of fun. Oh, I'm in yeah, fever pitch. Okay, so whether I'm in fever pitch... If I'm in fever pitch, I seem to have a longer combo. If I'm in firestorm, I have like an AoE burst attack thing as a finisher. I think at the moment I prefer Fever Pitch. But we'll, um, we'll see. I'm probably going to try and go Terror the next big room of combat. And um, see what happens if you fill in both those slots, maybe. What's that? That's a palace! King's palace! Gonna be a big ball tonight! Is Cinderella going? <laughs> I don't know. 
Hello, you two. Have you become friends already? Oh, that's wonderful. You sure look happy, Cinderella. Hmm. I'm going to the Royal Ball tonight. <sighs> I guess dreams really do come true. Cinderella! My dress will have to wait. Cinderella! Cinderella! Bitches! All right, all right. I'm coming. Poor Flinderelli. She not go to the ball. Why not? You see, they fix her. Work, work, work. She'll never get a dress done. Say, got an idea. Vin Vin Hippa Jack. With what? Fix up Flinderelli dress for the ball. But what do we need to get? Rock around the house. Lots of pretty, pretty things. Like. Okay, the bow and the it. thread we walked past. I'll go past. find whatever we need. Jacques, the bow, which is three set times up here. my size. Johnson. Ben, Ben, Herfi, Rusafi. Rusafi? Rusafi, a cat cat. Me, me, sneaky. Jump a two, fight a two. <laughs> gotcha. Wait, hold on. They have a cat called Lucifer? <laughs> you need a pattern. Five items to complete Cinderella's dress. A white sash, white lace, a white button, pink fabric, and a pink thread. Okay, so not the big black bow. Never mind. Okay. So, white and pink shit. And look out for the cat called Lucifer. Oh. Yeah. I must get some kind of high jump or glide because I need to get I need to get up there. I'm not sure if I'm honest considering the age of uh, like the Cinderella animation I think he may have originally been a character character of um, yeah. the image of black at the time a recipe list that reveals what you Create your melding combination will result in a basic magic command. Sweet. Do I need this thread? I can attack the thread. I can attack the thread and build up my gauge. The cat's name was always Lucifer. It's been years since I watched Cinderella, but that's. I'm not sure why I'm hitting this, and I'm pretty sure I don't need it, but... Take it, Jack. Jack. Oh, I could probably use that to get up. Well... I don't know, but that's... That's something that I think it could possibly be. I mean, because this was from the 50s. Or the, the original Disney uh, cartoon, I think. Fuck if I know! Uh... Okay. It might be a good idea to buy another fire. So then I could level it up and merge it together with the other one and try and get a fire I mean, that would be the one that logic would dictate to give you fire. 
considering the way that games usually work, it's probably not going to work out that way, but... Uh... Yeah. Hey, Patinga, how's it going? Firestorm. Yep. I missed. I'm doing all right. Yourself? I suppose I need to get up here. Nope. Let me guess. Lucifer. You're going to be out here, aren't you? They've just chucked shit everywhere. Uh, give me terror. So I already have overdrive. And I'm interested to see what happens if I get the other Good, good. Aha! Gimme it. Overdrive and auto block. Powerful. Oh shit. That's a fucking amazing ability. And I'm dead. Okay, that's the first step. Find out. <laughs> yes. Okay. Okay, we needed that. Um, but I like it. At least so far, I'm not that far. No, there's nothing hipster about it. If something's good, it's good. I mean, you shouldn't judge something just by how old it is. Granted, some things don't age very well. But that's, uh... It's a bit different. That's more like mechanic -based. But, you know, a good story will stay a good story. For that all to happen. You're just a bit more of a cod first. Um, I I dislike Call of Duty partly because every game that comes out is basically just a new map and texture pack um, and partly because of pers my personal ethical beliefs which uh, I've said many times before and I will say again I the Call of Duty games, Medal of Honor games you know, any like war sim game that is trying to be hyper realistic um, it's like even though they're meant for like 18 year olds, 16 year olds plus there's going to be 12 year old kids playing and 
these games sort of project this image of the violence in war in a far more positive light than I think it should be. And um, I feel like that affects people's decisions when they're like, oh well, I want to go into the army because they don't think about it properly because of their influence from the games. I don't know. It's just sort of like a personal thing. I don't expect other people to agree with me. God damn it. How do I... Oh. There's a crap. How do I get to the crap? Oh, it's down here. Isn't it? Yep. Well, not just an old RPG. Right? Yes. Buttons. Enemy. <laughs> That's the usual progression of things. No. No enemy. Fork. Let me guess. Do the thing. Well, no, like... I'm not saying that it directly affects their behaviour. Like, immediately. Like, if a kid starts playing GoldenEye, they'll immediately go around trying to chop things. No. Uh, that's not what I'm trying to say, but... It's yeah. it's more a matter of like if they can't disassociate it from real life, they may get an idea of that profession. Like, okay, a special agent is something loads of kids wanted to be anyway. But you know, they may actually like go it try and get into MI6 or whatever, the CIA because of their interactions with the game as a child. I don't know. It's it's due to psychologically the psychology rather, the strength of the child. And the whole thing shit. Can I get rid of this or is it just it doesn't have a health bar again? But I got cheese. Yeah, but like it. No, that is a valid argument, and it's. Yep, the rants are real. Get used to it, bitch. Um, it's one of those arguments that people come up with. They, for some reason, some people expect it to affect the children so drastically. That... Wait, I'm getting marshmallows. Give me marshmallows, bitch. Give me all your marshmallows. I want the fucking marshmallows. Give me your marshmallows! Give me them! Wedding cake! <laughs> what the fuck just happened? Okay, enough about the run, because if I try and edit this and put it on YouTube, it's going to be really difficult. If that's a genuine story, which I highly, highly doubt it is, let me guess, it happened in America. <laughs> and the kid already had some kind of psychosis. 
or was predisposed to having some form of psychosis. Because guess what? When people are generally affected by the media, it's because they're already fucked up. to do that. Damn it. I doubt it. You wouldn't do something like that. He may not have had any diagnosed psychological problems, but he was probably either just not very smart or had something, some issue. I mean, There are some special people in America. Yes, I mean that version of the special. And I'm, I'm talking America because America is so large. And because of all the different states and the different laws. Homeschooling being a much more popular thing. I'm not saying homeschooling is less uh, intelligent automatically. But depending on how the homeschooling is done unintelligent people trying to educate unintelligent children. It just condenses the fact that the child is not going to get particularly well educated. Actually, not intelligence. That's the wrong word. Uh, un poorly educated people trying to teach poorly. Just because, like, going by a stereotype, rednecks. Rednecks trying to homeschool their kids are probably going to home homeschool them badly. Anyway, let's get off the subject because this is going to be really awkward when I put it up on YouTube. Yes, I'm breaking the fourth wall. Hello, YouTube. When I finally get around to it, I still have to edit the rest of King Part uh, Final Mix. And. Then Kingdom Hearts RE Chaining Memories. And then Kingdom Hearts 2 before I put this up, but yes. I've got the thing yet. Am I missing any? I don't know. Vida things for Flinderelli's dress? Yep, I know where to look. No? Can I have a hint? I already... Didn't I already get the pink thread? The pink thread is on top of the shelf in the room downstairs. What? In the place that I couldn't get to? <gasps> Give it a year each. Although that does mean, that just further ferments the issue of like, well, why don't Sora's parents care? Still needs a pity pity pearl. Leave it to me. Where the fuck am I going to get a pearl? Let me guess. Lucifer's collar has a pearl on it. For some Pity pity pearl, gotta be downstairs.
I already have these. Does having more of them do anything? I don't know. Uh, I'll get another sliding dash. Because then I can do interesting things. Yes. I got payback raid. Combo F boost. Eh. Oh, I, get, I get that. Combo F boost. Increases the damage dealt by the last blow of your combos. Oh. Finisher boost. Not combo F. Actually, no, in this game it would be combo F. Because finisher is different. So, can I. Not until it's further level. That makes me. want to level up payback raid, the normal one, more. So then I can do stuff with it. Hi, Lucifer. This isn't going to go badly. <laughs> Lucifer. <laughs> flurry, flurry, then, then. God damn. Chase Lucifer off, dodges pounces, and leap into his back. Onto his back. That makes much more sense. That was kind of awesome. Not gonna lie. Not dodge, but rather... Whee! Oh, there's... Triangle. Of course. Hey, kitty cat. You know what would actually... Oh, I don't have a full team. I was going to go, Oh, you know what would help? Aqua! Fire. Oh, I think that phased out just before it hit. <laughs> no, I can't. Okay. Fire. Science! Yeah. That's why I tested this. And now I'm in fire school. Because why not? That's why not. Oh, 
Oh, it's different prompts, so I can't just... I can't just spam. Don't think I won't take my anger out on this cat. I'll do it. And you'll feel sorry. Diamond dust. It's usually a Shiva ability. Shiva. Not Shiva. Shiva. A summon that you can find in this game. <laughs> Advertising other games whilst playing a game. Oh, that's a big thank you. No thanks needed. You saved me before, so I saved you. That's what friends do, right? good friend. Now, let's get that dress finished. Oh well, what's a royal ball? A royal ball. After all. I suppose it would be frightfully dull and boring and completely, completely wonderful. Yep, dull, boring, and wonderful. Cinderella! Is that my dress? Yes, it's a present from us. Now you have a dress for the ball. What happened to the other mice? <laughs> Didn't she have like three mice? Why, it's it's such a surprise. Flurry, flurry. Time I go, Flinderelli. No, that time he did actually call her Flinderelli. Jack Jack hope for Flinderelli dream come true. What's a vendendary? Huh? I wonder. Being a Keyblade Master is all I've dreamed about. Well, you're not the only one. I know. You, me, and Ven all share the same dream. Funny. I'd never really thought about it. At least until you asked me. My dream is to become a Keyblade Master. Hope a Ven Ven dream come true, too. I just need to keep on believing. Alright, see your logic. Right? Zuck zuck. Zuck zuck. <laughs> that means right. Hmm. Forged a D link with Cinderella. Stroke at midnight. Stroke of midnight. Stroke at midnight is a very different thing. Rylan! Thank you for the follow! How's it going? Holy fuck off. The amount of shit that's leveled up. Holy shit! And that is why you play this game. That's why you play this board game. Because you get new shit and you level up shit without barely having to do anything. 